The quest for knowledge has been a central endeavor of human thought since antiquity. In this pursuit, two dominant philosophical schools have emerged, each proposing a distinct path to understanding the world, rationalism and empiricism. These two approaches to epistemology, the study of knowledge, have been influential in shaping the development of Western philosophy and science. While rationalism emphasizes reason and innate ideas as the primary sources of knowledge, empiricism argues that sensory experience and evidence are the foundations of understanding. This essay explores the fundamental principles of rationalism and empiricism, their historical contexts, key proponents, and the ongoing debate between these two philosophies. Rationalism asserts that reason is the chief source and test of knowledge. According to rationalists, certain truths are innately known or can be deduced through logical reasoning, independent of sensory experience. This belief is rooted in the conviction that the human mind possesses inherent capabilities that enable it to grasp fundamental truths about reality. Rationalism has deep roots in the history of philosophy, tracing back to the ancient Greeks. Plato is often considered an early rationalist. In his theory of forms, Plato posited that the empirical world is a shadow of a higher reality composed of abstract, immutable forms, which can only be apprehended through reason. The modern era of rationalism began in the 17th century with René Descartes, often referred to as the father of modern philosophy. Descartes' method of systematic doubt led him to the famous conclusion cogito, ergo sum, I think, therefore I am. Descartes believed that certain knowledge, such as mathematical truths, could be attained through pure reason. Baruch Spinoza and Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz were also pivotal figures in the rationalist tradition. Spinoza argued for a monistic philosophy where everything that exists is a part of a single substance, which can be understood through reason. Leibniz, on the other hand, introduced the concept of monads and pre-established harmony, asserting that reason alone could uncover the underlying principles of the universe. Rationalists contend that the mind is born with certain fundamental concepts or ideas. For instance, Descartes believed in innate ideas such as the concept of God and mathematical principles. These ideas are not derived from experience, but are part of our rational nature. Rationalists argue that some knowledge, particularly in mathematics and logic, can be known a priori. For example, the statement all bachelors are unmarried is known to be true without needing to verify each bachelor's marital status. Rationalism emphasizes the importance of deductive reasoning, where conclusions are logically derived from premises. This method is seen as a way to achieve certain and universal knowledge, as opposed to the contingent and probabilistic nature of empirical knowledge. Empiricism, in contrast, posits that all knowledge originates from sensory experience. Empiricists argue that the mind at birth is a tabula rosa, blank slate, and all ideas and knowledge are acquired through interaction with the world. Empiricism gained prominence during the early modern period as a reaction to the rationalist emphasis on innate ideas and reason. John Locke is often credited with laying the groundwork for modern empiricism. In his seminal work, An Essay Concerning Human Understanding, Locke argued that all knowledge comes from experience, distinguishing between simple and complex ideas formed through sensory input and reflection. George Berkeley took empiricism further by denying the existence of material substance, arguing that objects only exist as perceptions in the mind. According to Berkeley, to be is to be perceived, s ist percipi. David Hume is perhaps the most influential empiricist. Hume's rigorous analysis of human understanding questioned the notion of causality and the existence of the self as a persistent entity. He argued that our beliefs about cause and effect, as well as the continuity of the self, are the result of habit and custom rather than rational deduction or innate ideas. Empiricists maintain that the mind is a blank slate at birth, with no pre-existing knowledge or ideas. All knowledge is built from sensory experiences and subsequent reflection on those experiences. Empiricists argue that all meaningful knowledge about the world is a posteriori, requiring empirical evidence for validation. For example, scientific knowledge is based on observation, experimentation, and evidence. Empiricism emphasizes inductive reasoning, where general principles are derived from specific observations. While this method allows for the development of probable knowledge, it does not provide the certainty associated with deductive reasoning. However, empiricists argue that this is the most reliable way to understand the world. 
the tension between rationalism and empiricism is a central theme in the history of philosophy. This debate revolves around the origins and limits of human knowledge, and it has profound implications for science, metaphysics, and epistemology. The fundamental disagreement is whether reason, rationalism, or experience, empiricism, is the primary source of knowledge. Rationalists argue that certain truths, particularly in mathematics and ethics, can be known independently of experience. Empiricists counter that all knowledge, even mathematical and ethical knowledge, is ultimately grounded in sensory experience. Rationalists believe in innate ideas that exist prior to and independently of experience. Empiricists reject this notion, arguing that all ideas are derived from sensory input. This debate raises questions about the nature of concepts like causality, substance, and identity. Rationalists emphasize the importance of intuitive knowledge and deductive reasoning. Empiricists argue that while intuition and deduction can be useful, they are not sufficient for acquiring knowledge about the world. Empirical evidence and inductive reasoning are necessary to substantiate any claims. Rationalism seeks certainty in knowledge through logical deduction, while empiricism accepts the probabilistic nature of knowledge derived from sensory experience. This distinction has significant implications for scientific methodology and the limits of human understanding. The debate between rationalism and empiricism has led to attempts at synthesis, most notably by Immanuel Kant. Kant argued that while all knowledge begins with experience, not all knowledge arises from experience. He proposed a transcendental idealism, where the mind actively shapes experience according to innate categories and concepts. This approach aimed to reconcile the insights of both rationalism and empiricism by suggesting that the mind has a role in structuring experiences, but that knowledge still requires empirical input. The rationalism-empiricism debate has had a lasting impact on various fields, including science, mathematics, and psychology. The scientific revolution was influenced by both rationalist and empiricist ideas. Rationalist principles can be seen in the emphasis on mathematical laws and theoretical models, as exemplified by figures like Isaac Newton. Empiricism, on the other hand, has driven the development of the scientific method, which relies on observation, experimentation, and evidence. In mathematics, the debate manifests in the distinction between pure and applied mathematics. Pure mathematics often aligns with rationalist ideas, focusing on abstract reasoning and logical deduction. Applied mathematics, which requires empirical validation and practical application, reflects empiricist principles. In psychology, the nature-nurture debate echoes the rationalism-empiricism divide. The question of whether cognitive abilities and traits are innate, nature, or acquired through experience, nurture, continues to be a central issue in the field. Contemporary psychology often seeks to integrate both perspectives, recognizing the complex interplay between genetic predispositions and environmental influences. The philosophical traditions of rationalism and empiricism offer two distinct paths to knowledge, each with its strengths and limitations. Rationalism emphasizes the power of reason and innate ideas, seeking certainty through logical deduction. Empiricism, in contrast, grounds knowledge in sensory experience and empirical evidence, embracing the probabilistic nature of understanding. The ongoing dialogue between these two schools of thought has enriched philosophical inquiry and scientific practice. By exploring the interplay between reason and experience, we gain a deeper appreciation of the complexity of human knowledge and the diverse ways in which we come to understand the world. As we continue to navigate the landscape of epistemology, the insights of rationalism and empiricism remain invaluable, guiding our quest for truth and wisdom.